What's up, Reef Squad? We back at it again with another React video with Grimwatch. <laughs> Alright, that ain't in my usual today, but I wanted to give y'all some random and something spicy. So let's get to reaping, baby. We on to the OG, the one and only, the best, Slap Ham, baby. And you know they always got the best video, so let's do it. I call a cap on this one, it just looks like it's too obviously fake. Oh yeah. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super creepy things that have been caught on camera that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Slap ham. Our first clip of the day was captured by a home security camera back in November 2022. It was uploaded to TikTok by Destroyer667. It begins on. with a young girl talking to her dad oh. as she plays on the computer. The dad says he's going to take a shower and that she should finish up and go to bed. But after the dad leaves, things turn weird pretty quickly. Oh no. Mm -mm. <laughs> she took her she took her headphones off fast. <laughs> Watching that again, two of the dining room chairs seem to slide across the floor all on their own. The girl gets up startled, calling out to her dad. I think I might have seen this family before. Um, is this the same family with the little girl that was like, uh, I think it was probably in our other video. She was eating at the table and then like a napkin or a spoon or something like that moved on its own. And it kind of looks like the same setup. So this is either one, the same family or two, this is all cat. And they're just trying to like create something. Cause no telling if somebody's under this table. Cause the table is big enough for a person to be under there. And it didn't show any footage before or after uh, the fact, you know, at least amount of time. So I don't know. I feel like this one could be cap. Her reaction looks quite genuine. And unless someone in the family's playing a prank on this poor girl, you have to wonder what's really being caught on camera here. But the little girl reaction was pretty genuine. Like she looked like, <laughs> like if I was sitting there at the table, my reaction would have been the same, you know, take headphones off, am I tripping, something moves, I'm leaving, you know? So she did exactly that. Like, she did, wasn't trying to investigate, and she's a little kid, and, 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 you know, her acting might not be that well, so I don't know. Oh, it was a second chair that moved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was out. It was out. Mm -mm. Whole chair flipped over. Oh. Hey. Mm. Yeah, I would have ran too if I was her. Yeah, I definitely would have took off. Several months ago, Reddit user Little Space Mochi uploaded some rather striking footage that left the community abuzz with speculation that a real UFO had been caught on camera. Mm. Watch. It was a quote by this uh, famous uh, physicist. I don't remember his name, but I definitely remember the quote. He said, either, either fact can be scary. Either we're not in this universe alone or we are. Either one is terrifying. And I was like, you know, when you put it like that and you have this vast uh, space that we've only explored a fraction of a percent of, you know, it is is scary to either have something out there that's more technically advanced than us or 
you know, not having anything out there, and we're literally the only ones. But like, honestly, what's the odds of that? Like, we have too much proof for otherwise. So I don't know. Like this right here, I don't know. It looks, it looks us. I'm not gonna. Ha I'm not gonna hold you. Look like something out of straight like Guardians of the Galaxy. Captured on September 29, 2022, a floating object moves past the moon. It's a disc shape and brings to mind the classic depiction of an alien flying saucer. Yeah, it looks too obvious, like, <laughs> like a small piece of... The footage okay, right was allegedly like, captured you know, by... When they're um, inserting like nanotechnology inside the bloodstream and they do like a microscopic um, zoom in of that. That's sort of what it looks like. Like, that UFO looks like <laughs> the little nano that just shot through your blood system. <laughs> Professional equipment somewhere in China. The footage quickly went viral on Reddit with hundreds of comments pouring in trying to make sense of the wild footage. Many skeptics thought it was too good to be true, noting that it felt a little over dramatic. Some other comments agreed, but said it would be really hard to pull off all the details with CGI alone without it looking more fake. Another interesting point is that there are hundreds, if not thousands of cameras trained on the moon at any one time. So why isn't there more sources confirming the sighting? Exactly. With all this being said, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgment. What do you think this is? Share no, your theories with one you know another in the comments down you below. Know what it is. Here's some eerie footage that was uploaded to YouTube by JRR Channel several years ago. A young boy in Norway was out walking in his local park one morning when suddenly he spotted this happening at the swings. I good sir. Could not be at a haunting One of the tire swings appears to be moving all on its own. Its momentum stays eerily steady for over a minute. Annoyingly, the camera work is enough to make you vomit with nausea, so here it is stabilized a little. Oh, it looks like it's moving faster. That ghost kid swinging hard. Probably about to do a bat flip out of The initial reactions <laughs> to the footage were that the boy pushed the swing and ran back, then started filming, which is entirely possible. But it doesn't quite explain how the tire keeps its momentum up. Some viewers came to the conclusion that we're seeing a ghost. Perhaps That's the spirit of a child that died in the area that just wants to play one last time. Cause like they were saying, momentum, like you can't disprove science at the end of the day. Like that tire is swinging as if someone is on it. And it's swinging Here's some more eerie home security no footage. Chop, no its origins are unknown, but it's been spreading through social media quickly this past few weeks. This version was uploaded to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal. Watch. I don't know, I still kind of caught cap on that. Because the light... Two misty shapes drift through the yard. Okay, so like... The reason why I caught cap on this one, like, bear with me. When you're using like Adobe or whatever, um, or when you're just editing, uh, you create this illuminating light with your effect. So like, for instance, as soon as this quote unquote ghost comes into frame, if you look at the car and the surrounding, like the porch, the light, the light gets a little brighter and then suddenly it gets dark. As if, look, right there, you know what I'm saying? So that, Two misty shapes like drift through the yard. Look at the car, it's a bright gray. And as soon as it they look like two floating figures wearing robes or tattered entirely. rags. And when I say for effects, you need extremely well lit areas or um, some kind of uh, light to 
to express the VFX that you're trying to do. So I, I really believe this could be Cap. Interestingly, whatever they are, they appear to manipulate the camera's motion detection. When they disappear, the light turns off and the camera switches to night vision. Okay, this suggests too. that something was in the yard, something big enough to trigger the motion sensor. Unfortunately, no one seems to know where or when this was captured, so it's difficult to dig deeper into the history of the property. So for now, all we can do is watch and wonder as to what these two eerie shapes so really the are. Sensor, and that's the light that we're seeing. I mean, it still wouldn't completely X out the whole idea of it being VFX. Um, but it just look, it looks very unrealistic. Like the motion of it in general. Like, and I've seen a lot of like ghost stuff in person. There may be and comfort video, in the video. usual. I saw a lot of ghost stuff via video and in person, and that motion of said ghost isn't, that doesn't look accurate, I don't know, but. In September 2019, some striking footage emerged that left viewers wondering whether aliens are refueling their ships here on Earth. Mm. The clip originally aired on Spanish national television when local like news broadcaster Agencia 6 played a clip of a thunderstorm that hit the city of Alicante. After it aired, University of Alicante student David Gutierrez Roca was certain the footage showed something a little more mysterious than a heavy electrical storm. Roca wrote to the media station asking for the footage, and this is what he discovered. It can be hard to spot at first, but if we slow it down, you can see several glowing lights emerge from the storm. Okay, now nah, I'm not going to hold you. At first, I thought it couldn't be plausible, but if the ships are being recharged during storm or uh, uh, lightning storm or whatsoever, um, that could be completely plausible. All right, and and, uh, and let me speak on like a scientific era. So basically, a long time ago, they found these uh, towers that was built in Egypt. And um, I forgot the name of the tower, but we also still have them. Like, uh, there's one in Washington, D.C. Um, and it's, it's just a tower that comes up at a point. I forgot what the title of this these um, monuments are called. But a long time ago in um, ancient Egypt, they found um, that there is a source of, like, a metal or stone kind of thing that's built into these towers in Egypt that collects electrons in the air creating an electricity and a lot of um, archaeologists have found uh, diagrams and framing of electrical circuit boards hidden in the pyramids of Giza. So with that being said, if you can pull electrons out of the air and charge it, why wouldn't you be able to pull the electrons or electricity from the sky if you built a machine that's built in the same like material that can extract electrons from the air surrounding it. So that could be plausible. Um, but if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, uh, definitely check out, uh, what was it? The History Channel. <laughs> the History Channel. And there's also a book called Egyptian, uh, Egyptian in the Book of the Dead. Um, I actually got that one from a cool black historical bookstore in Atlanta, Georgia, located in Greenbrier Mall. So definitely check out. They have plenty of books on um, Egyptian history, archaeology, um, the uh, books of the dead. Uh, they have everything down to a breakup of any of the Egyptian symbols. Um, I'm really big on Egypt since probably like third grade. So. Um, I want to say in like fourth or fifth grade, they taught us like how to write now, um, hieroglyphics. But long story short, this is something that could be plausible. I've never heard this theory before uh, today. So for them to say it's possible that they're using our earth to, I, th I think that's plausible. I mean, especially if they have advanced technology like that and they can, you know, travel at the speed of light, which I've seen personally with my own eyes, it's freaky. So, I mean, completely plausible. Here it is again with a high contrast filter. 
Here you can see that there's definitely something hovering among the clouds. The footage has left some UFO enthusiasts wondering whether alien craft can refuel their ships during electrical storms. This comes off the back of a sighting in Wisconsin in July the previous year. This photo here shows an enormous oval shape wow. that only appeared with a flash of lightning during a heavy wow. thunderstorm. It's like the mothership. Yeah, that's crazy. Other ufologists speculated that they're not refueling, but rather using the storms as camouflage so they can better observe Earth while remaining mm. undetected. That's smart too. Of course, these are all just theories and nothing official has been concluded. There are some versions of the footage that claim NASA is investigating the sighting, but no statement no has ever been NASA. made. This next one isn't paranormal, but rather a wild coincidence that hasn't just happened once, but multiple times. Then In late January 2023, Reddit user Primary Map 785 posted a rather extraordinary happenstance that left fellow Redditors aghast. The OP works as an electrician and was dragging cables in an old apartment. While pulling up some cable work behind a weathered plasterboard wall, he dredged up an aged newspaper. The extraordinary thing is, it was dated the same day, the 18th of January, exactly 101 years earlier. Naturally, the curious coincidence spawned all kinds of fun and wacky theories in the comments section. Everything from time travel to curses and split dimensions were even suggested. The weird thing is, several people noted that it had happened before in the US. On December 7th, 2017, Michigan local Mike Quinn was having his Manistee apartment rewired by two electricians from Shoreline Electric. The two workers, Rich and Scott, discovered in a crawl space of the old apartment a dried and yellow newspaper. The remarkable thing is, it was dated the 7th of December, 1942, exactly 75 years later which also happened to be the 75th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor bombings of World War II. Being a military enthusiast, Quinn noted the time of discovery and realized it was only an hour after the bombings happened, exactly 75 years earlier. The two wild coincidences caused the Reddit community to reflect on the concept of synchronicity. Synchronicity is the idea that events can be connected in a meaningful way, even if they don't seem to be directly related by cause and effect. It's often described as a sense that things just fall into place in a way that seems more than just luck or chance. The so we do have a, um, there's some philosopher theories, uh, and I try to keep that in the back of my mind as well because there's so many information um, and videos out there uh, that could be misleading. Um, and I'm not saying this is misleading at all whatsoever, but I'm also saying um, to evaluate skeptically but still um understand that your answer is not always a hundred percent you know because at the end of the day if you wasn't there you don't know you know so with the theory it says that um humans have a innate uh desire or it's just in us to find pattern in things even if there isn't one so I try to keep that in mind. So just because sometimes things happen and it doesn't necessarily seem like it's connected, but it happens frequently, um, well, at least like a couple times, I would say it's more so a coincidence, but when it's frequently is when it's like, nah, that's supposed to happen. <laughs> I mean, but I, like, like I said, I could be wrong, but it, science has also uh, said that things such as deja vu uh, could be uh, time recur recorrecting itself, making sure you're in the right place. Um, and those are coming from scientists that believes in, in the string theory um, down to parallel universes and quantum uh, mechanics. So um, there's so many things in this universe that could be true. Um, and there should, there's so many things that could be wrong. Um, it's just evaluating the information, checking your sources and you know, uh, seeing what makes the most sense scientifically and or spiritually. Um, and a lot of people like to keep it separate, but honestly, you can't have one without the other. Spirituality needs science and science needs spirituality because there are things that might happen spiritually that science can't explain. There might be things 
that happens that spirituality can't explain. So we have to make sure that those coexist together. I'll be back, y'all. All right, I'm back. Let's get it. Concept was first introduced by psychologist Carl Jung in the late 1920s. He suggests that these coincidental events reflect a deeper underlying order in the universe and can be interpreted as signs or messages from the unconscious mind. Agreed. In Jung's view, synchronicities provide insight into an individual's psychological state and can help to guide personal growth and development. Honestly, that just sounds like law of attraction if you ask me. So is there some deeper meaning happening here? Can these separate instances hold elucidations that we don't yet understand? Or is it all just pure coincidence? We'll leave that. So, and when I say law of attraction, so there's uh, this documentary and there's a book called The Secret. And these are a lot of uh, quantum uh, physicists, uh, authors, uh, visionaries, and they're all talking about the science and spiritual aspect of our subconscious and also creating a, our reality based off of um, our wants and needs. And it talks about how we, how our thoughts are like phone signals, you know, and when it goes on to the universe, uh, there's a tablet called the Akashic Records. Um, it's from the first uh, advanced civilization, the Sumerians. And it talks about the ether. And the ether is like an invisible field of knowledge, of information. So whenever you get an idea or a random thought, something you never would have thought of before, or an idea you never had before, that came from the ether. Uh, or when things make sense and you don't know how it makes sense, you just know what you know, that comes from the ether. That's explained in the Akashic Records. So with the way we're signaling out our thoughts is like the ether are also, and what they're talking about in this video, synchronicity, it's basically us creating a reality and putting certain opportunities in our path um, that's just so happened to be a coincidence or, you know, uh, God-given or whatever. Um, and we try to make sense of it, but really we're the gods of our reality, so we create the reality that we live in. So everything you see is a creation of someone else. Uh, you see a vehicle. That vehicle design was in a person's head before they manifested it and create the physical idea that was in their head. And then that was already right there, law of attraction and manifestation. And then when another person sees that same vehicle and they're like, oh my God, I want that vehicle in my life, things start to happen and create more finance to make sure they get that vehicle that they already had and boom, you manifest that into your reality. So, and it's not so easy. It takes a lot of uh, rewiring of our brain and our subconscious mind uh, because we do a lot of things subconsciously even though we're conscious of other things. There's still so much of, our, of us that we have to learn about ourselves um, and that's why in some spiritual groups they call it shadow work. So, and psychology talks a lot about uh, shadow work as well. So if you want to get into that, definitely um, do some research. And I'll try to put some reliable sources in the uh, description down below just so you guys can check it out. That up to you to decide. Are you finally ready for a life with so crystal clear vision? To this. Then <laughs> as I just ranted. <laughs> a Nobel Prize winning science has already worked before we take a look at some freaky home security footage, remember to hit that subscribe button there and tickle that little bell icon. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. What he said. Our last clip of the day is some eerie home security footage coming out of South scary. America. It was uploaded to TikTok by Edward Ramirez. At first, everything seems perfectly normal as a woman heads downstairs of her apartment. But watch what happens next. I hate when they go in a loop. Sometimes it throws me off. Mm. Like a person in a white gown or something. A transparent figure in a white dress appears from the top right hand corner of the screen. She lingers, then disappears. 
Shortly after, a chair slides across the floor. It's like she threw the chair in front of the door like... <clears throat> the white lady is a common <laughs> figure in South American folklore and is often depicted as a ghostly or supernatural being, often seen as an apparition in white clothing, roaming around graveyards, ruins That's and other creepy. lonely places. The stories and the appearances of the white lady vary depending on the country and culture, but she is usually considered a harbinger of bad news or death. The exact origin of the White Lady legend in South America is uncertain as it's likely have been passed down through oral tradition for many generations. Some historians believe that the tales have been influenced by Spanish and Portuguese colonialism, as the stories have been introduced to the region by European settlers. The White Lady is also a common motif in folklore across many cultures and has been present in European legends for centuries. So is this the infamous white lady that's said to have plagued the region for centuries? Take another look and decide for yourself. So freaky. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but the only difference is there's nothing behind that. Well, that's the end of today's episode. Th there's no camera behind that wall to know if it, it could have been pulled from behind the wall where the camera is. Um, I try to make sure I debunk videos like these um, because I'm not the type that believe every video is real, um, but I also try to make sure I'm evaluating it um, as scientifically as possible. Um, <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Graham. I'm so glad you guys joined me here for a little pop-up fun. Uh, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment down below if you want to see me watch anything else. I'm Grim, baby. I'm the Reaper. You can't kill me. <laughs> Y'all keep reaping, baby.